Hallo, welkom. Vraag nummer 3 of my automatic gate opener. This is the box and I had an idea. I, well, I can make some, some clear glass in here so that you always can see what's inside. It's like an artwork. So we have some plastic PVC. I make a square hole in here and I will mount it so then you can always look inside. Make a square hole, round corners, and then I have to make this a little bit thicker, and then I will glue it with a gasket. The result: I glue the plastic on it, and now I can mount it over here. Show you. See, nice look at sight. It's like artwork. Oh, beautiful. Thank <laughs> you. 
put it over there. I welded, I cut them, I welded them already, then I have to make them in the corner, to work them, like this. it all together the parts this comes straight and here I have to put 
put in the cylinder and to turn. This is one part of the construction, the other part should be on the gate itself. I will make later. I'm not, not very good in welding, but it's okay. The cylinder and the water mate. I will mount it like this on the pole. And then the gate goes open like this. So this is the one. So it works. I have to make another one that's mounted on the gate. This is one part, and then I have to make another one, but okay. But what I do with this cylinder is there are end switches in here, but I don't want to use that. I want to use I want to use the current limiting in there, so that it is fully closed the gate. So at the end, so I I I, I do not. Uh, it was closing the gate, and then um, in, it, it will fall in some um, some rubber, and then it will the current will rise, and then it will stop itself. But that's then I don't have to make it very rigid. I have to need some I need some uh, to put some rubbers in in, the, in somewhere. I don't want to put rubbers in here. This is this should be rigid on the pole. But here I have to make something what's a little bit elastic, flexible with rubber so that it can use some millimeters. So I've made it exactly, the stroke is 200 millimeters of this. Um, then I should, then the distance between, between the, two, the two turning points should be 100 millimeter, but I made it 90 millimeter, so I have some some stroke left. So that's and then I don't need the end switches in here. That's that's what I I want to do. So this one is already finished. I have to paint it. I made some holes in it, and then I will screw it on the pole. I have to think about how to make the other one. This is the beginning of the bureau side. This will come on the gate, and here I will make two small plastic blocks with rubber that it is not really rigid. I'll show you later how I do it.
works. Have to mount them like this. So, and I put some rubber in here that it is a little bit flexible. That's my plan. Hello. See how well that is together. It's not beautiful welding, but it's okay. It's strong. This is my plan. This I make on the pole. This can turn around, and this one I make on the gate. I do it like this. This should be in here. So, and this should be. And then this one should be a little bit elastic. So I put some um, some plastic or rubber over here that this can be a little bit more elastic. If the gate closed or open, it needs a little bit space that it is not very rigid. I make that over here. And then I can mount under the gate. This I make on the go. Good. 